it's the mobile home diva coming to you with just a quick video to tell you um, what's going on with my house we're having some issues and I wanted to kind of give you some insight on on some things that could possibly go wrong after you purchase your mobile home um, we're, we don't feel alarmed um, and we're not upset by it we know that things happen but um, we j I just wanted to share in full transparency um, what's going on. So keep watching. If you're new to the video or new to my channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know every time I upload another video. So let's get into it. Before um, I get started, let me say that we are having plumbing issues. Um, not really plumbing issues. I think it's an issue with the seal around our shower. I'll show you what's going on in a minute and I'll, but first I want to talk about some issues that we've had in the past. We, um, previously had, or twice, we noticed that water was on the inside of the master bath cabinet. And both times we got called Clayton Homes, both times they immediately came out and they fixed the problem. The first time which I think it was the both times. I'm not really a, a technical, I don't know anything about plumbing. Probably would have to take my husband to tell you about it. But both times there was a seal um, that was leaking water that just needed to be fixed. The second time, because it took us a while to notice the water um, on the bottom of the cabinet, they actually replaced the board um that makes the bottom of our cabinet and this time they used a sturdier board something like a blackboard but it's white so what happens is is it won't the first one started to buckle this one won't do that it, water can be easily wiped up it's really thick it's really durable we're very pleased with what they did they took our cabinet apart made it better and put it back together and since then we haven't had a leak um now, um, and let me show you. This cabinet was on this wall facing that way. So I moved it last Friday just to open up the bathroom a little bit. And I noticed that there was, let me show you. I noticed, I noticed that that whole line, all of this looked a little damp and I had just taking a shower and I noticed that it looked damp. When you touch here, this is real puffy. It actually feels like it's wet up under there. So what my husband feels has happened is that water is seeping down behind that panel going that way and going through the wall. And, and so that it was Friday when we called, when we noticed it, it was too late to call anybody because we knew they were closed. It was late in the evening. And so what we did was Monday, which was yesterday, we, we called the service guy, the, the Greg, you've seen him in my previous videos. Um, and he didn't answer. So we sent him a text of exactly what happened. He was in a bad signal area. He called right back. He talked to my husband. He said that they were coming today. So in less than 24 hours, he was on, in less than 24 hours from the time we called, he will be here. I'm saying all this to say that in your even if you don't purchase the five year extended warranty, in your first year of purchasing your home, any issues that you discover, Clayton Homes is responsible. Your homes or Clayton Homes comes with an automatic one year warranty. Every single time that I have called Clayton Homes, they have come out here almost immediately. So I wanted to share with you what was happening in full transparency because I'm getting ready to do a six month review, but, and I'm, I'm gonna talk about it, but also I want you to know the good things and the bad things I don't want to paint this picture like everything has 100% been fine when we have had a few issues. But I also want to let you know um, that regardless of the issues, 
Clayton Holmes has absolutely done what they've said they're going to do. They're going to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and I will um, probably turn the camera back on when they get here and kind of show you what they do to correct the problem. Okay. All right. See you in a minute. Okay, family. So a few minutes after I recorded the first segment of the video, um, Clayton Holmes arrived, Greg and two of his coworkers came and they immediately went to review the problem and see what was going on. And I can't give you all the details of what they found, but if you see that piece up there where there's two white things hanging on either side, the, white thing in the middle is a has a cap he just took it off and there was a leak coming from around that cap so apparently it there needed to be a seal or something was loosening the seal i'm not sure but water was dripping down to the bottom and there's a wide black thing you can see it at the bottom across from it you can also see where it's wet on that board it's because the water was hitting that and then bouncing onto the board and wetting that. So they were actually able to check under the linoleum on the floor and they determined also that um, there was no damage to the floorboards under the bottom. That's what they were explaining to me there. Um, once they discovered the problem, they checked all areas of that piping and all the attachments. They went around and they checked uh, where the shower head is. They couldn't find anything else. And so they determined that, that was the issue. And then they were able to put the wall back together. It was amazing. I didn't even know that panel came off, but that's the plumbing that goes to the shower. Um, and while I'm just amazed because the way these homes are built, like I'm pretty sure if this was a stick built home, you probably have to tear that whole wall down to get to it. I don't know, but it was absolutely amazing. So they put the wall back together and um, they even cleaned up their mess on the floor. They swept and everything. So I was really happy about that. They weren't, they weren't there an hour. It wasn't even an hour that they were there and then they were out and we haven't seen a leak, seen any water. As a matter of fact, the water on the floor is already drying the material that's under the um, linoleum um, is designed where the floor won't warp and it doesn't cause major damage unless it's a major leak. Um, it's going to dry and be fine, but he did take pictures just to show what it looked like in case there are any other issues. He can verify actually what happened. So. So Greg. For being a service manager, could just have a couple questions for you. So if I purchase a home from Clayton Homes, what can I expect as far as warranty if I don't opt to purchase the five-year warranty? All homes come with a 30-day decorative warranty, which is your decorative strips and your stuff on the inside. Mm -hmm. And then you have a one-year structural warranty, mm -hmm. which you'll come out and that's that covers your entire home on your structural part. Mm -hmm. So that's what they they typically come with. Okay, perfect. And then, um, so when you say decorative, can you kind of explain what the decorative and the, what the structure? The decorative is, is like the, the sheetrock and the batten strips and your, mm -hmm. and your molding and stuff on the inside that, you know, that typically uh, come loose in transportation. Gotcha. That kind of stuff like that. So gotcha. everything inside is typically decorative, most everything. Gotcha. So we'll take care of that. So is it typical then that there will be some issues once you do after you deliver the home? Yes, during transportation, most of the time on the road, it could be a longer road or a bumpier road mm -hmm. and stuff will move and come off and it's just due to over nailing or something maybe um, just come loose and, and it happens. That's a typical home on the transportation part. Gotcha. So gotcha. And we'll take care of all that. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. Um, thank you Greg. again. I was sharing with my subscribers that I called you guys yesterday. Yes. And you came out in 24 hours, which is amazing because I live in Georgia and um, they're based out of Opelika, Alabama. So um, just one more example of how Clayton Homes takes care of their customers. Well, we try to do our best. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs>